Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and with Father's Day just around the corner, this golf cake is sure to be a winner, or a hole in one, or however you win golf. I'm starting off with mixing up my simple syrup, which is just a one to one ratio. In this instance, I'm using one third cup of sugar and one third cup of hot water. And now I am crumb coating my cake and I'm filling it with some delicious Italian meringue buttercream. I will put the recipe in the description box below and I'm adding a very healthy dose of mini dark chocolate chips. Today I am just using plain vanilla cake, which I think is a great base to start with so that you can really go a little bit crazier with the fillings. Or if you're like my dad, then you'll probably just want to stick to straight vanilla. Yeah, I make all of these different types of cakes and my dad only likes to eat vanilla. Somehow my iced milk tea made it into the shot, but whenever I am making cakes, especially if I'm doing it at night, I need a little bit of a boost. So it's either iced milk tea for me or iced coffee. When I was filling this cake, some of the chocolate chips were coming out, but that's totally fine because we are going to crumb coat this a couple of times. Also, because I'm using mini chocolate chips, it really isn't that big of a deal. You can do as many coats as you would like, but the most important thing is to remember to refrigerate it for at least 20 to 30 minutes in between coats. Whenever I am making a grass color, I always use Leaf Green and the Chef Master brand. The key to doing this outside coat properly is really making sure that you're layering on enough buttercream. And do keep in mind if you're using a different type of buttercream, like American, it's going to spread a lot more differently than my Italian meringue buttercream. I know a lot of people use plastic scrapers to smooth out their buttercream, but I prefer metal tools. I find I can just get a sharper edge, and if I'm doing American buttercream, I have a particular trick that requires a metal tool to be used. I'm not being super picky about how smooth this buttercream is because I'm going to put a grass tip inside of my piping bag and I'm going to just pipe some grass over top of any areas that I don't really like. Piping grass is one of the easiest techniques. It's very, very similar to piping a dot. You're going to squeeze onto your piping bag and then when you're ready to release, you just stop squeezing and you pull up. If you want that grass to be longer, then what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze and lift up as you're letting all of that grass come out and then as soon as you see that your grass is long enough or to your liking, then you just release the pressure off of the bag. A little tip, if you are creating grass on a cake, you want to make sure that you use a fairly large tip. If you use a small tip, it's just going to take you forever. I really only use my small grass tip if I'm making a cookie. Since we're going to be putting a giant golf ball in the center here, it's really important that we stack that buttercream up just so it looks a little bit more realistic, although the sizing and proportions are going to be completely off for this cake, just to make things a little bit more fun. And as you can see what I'm doing, I'm kind of dragging out that grass. To make the golf ball, I'm using a styrofoam ball and I'm covering it in shortening. You could easily make this fully edible and take some Rice Krispie squares and mold it into a ball form. Whenever you're working with fondant, and today I am using satin ice fondant, you want to make sure that you lay down a little bit of cornstarch on your work area. Not too much, but just enough so that your fondant won't stick. Then you're going to lay your rolled fondant on top of the ball, and I'm just going to actually pinch this right off. Fondant is fairly forgiving, so what I want to do is I want to try to mold everything together so it all just looks like a solid ball and you won't be able to see the seams. Taking a balling tool, you're just going to create some indents so it's the same texture as a real golf ball. And don't worry about your fingers pressing into the golf ball because you're still going to do this again when you put it on top of the cake. Just a little tip, when you are working with fondant, it does dry out fairly quickly if you're not working fast. So you can't lay all of your fondant on top of this ball, leave it and then texturize it later. You must texturize it right away.
After I applied the grass, I put it back into the fridge, but it's still a little bit pliable. Italian meringue buttercream does not harden up as fast as American buttercream does. I actually needed my phone to see a picture of a golfing glove, so sorry it's not on camera because I actually need my phone to film. Anyway, all I did was I laid out some white fondant and then I cut out the glove with an X-Acto knife. Now I am going to create my little flag and my fondant actually was a little bit dry, so I just added a little bit of shortening to it to bring it back to life. I want my flag to look like it's flying in the wind a little bit. So you'll notice when I press it down here, I press into the cake and then I kind of lift it up a little bit and then press in that next part. So it's kind of not fully pressed against the cake. Just add your little flag pull and there you have your little flag. Now do keep in mind if you don't have your buttercream set up at least a little bit, then your flag might slide around. So it's really important that you do place it in the fridge. Adding a little sanding sugar at this point. Again, if you're using American buttercream, I would suggest you do this part maybe a little bit earlier on in the process because it does set up and form a crust and then your sprinkles might not stick to it. You could also do this little sprinkle portion with some brown sugar or you could also use really, really ground up graham crackers. Now this particular cake that I'm making is actually for a birthday, so I'm going to add a little plaque to it, but you could write whatever you want on this plaque. Just keep in mind that you do have to let the plaque dry for a little bit so that it's completely hard. Then take your edible pen and write whatever message you would like. You can make this cake as simple or as detailed as you want. I think to really sell that golf theme, all you really need is the grass and some sort of golfing element. You could even use a plastic golf ball and just place it on top. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of this sweetie fam. Right now, I'm still uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. And please let me know if you are looking for any more edible gift ideas for Father's Day. I have a ton of simple to elaborate things that I would love to share with you. Bye!